हेलो माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल टूडे चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास ऑन मधुआ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम योर नाइन्थ क्लास इंग्लिश बुक टूडे चिल्ड्रेन एज वी ऑल नो दैट इंडिया इज अ लैंड ऑफ फेयर्स एंड फेस्टिवल्स वी सेलिब्रेट एवरी फेस्टिवल विद ग्रेट पम्प एंड सो इज इंट इट नाउ लुक एट द पिक्चर चिल्ड्रेन Can you guess which festival is it? Very good. This is the world famous car festival we celebrate every year in different parts of India. Now children, tell me what are the elements that we come across when we go to any fair or festival? The first element that we come across is crowd. So many people gathered. So many stalls are there. just like so many uh, roundabouts so many swings toy stalls different food item stalls many such stalls are there everywhere we found so many people coming and going isn't it and all the time there is a chance of small children especially small children to be lost so children our today's topic is The Lost Child, written by Mulkraj Anand. Okay, children. Let us know the writer first. Let us learn something about Mulkraj Anand. Mulkraj Anand, born on December twelfth, nineteen hundred five. He died on September twenty eighth, two thousand four. He was a prominent Indian author of novels. short stories and critical essays in english language and he is known for his realistic and sympathetic portrayal of poor in india his best known work was the novel untouchable he won the sahitya academy award for his novel the morning face okay dear children now let us have a model reading of the first scene of the story the lost child listen to me carefully while i am reading some part of the story it was a festival of spring from the wintry sets of narrow lanes and streets appeared a colorfully dressed humanity some walked some rode on horses others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts one little boy ran between his father's legs brimming over with life and laughter come child come called his parents as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes i want that toy he pleaded his father looked at him red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him her finger to hold said look child what is before you okay children let us first see the unfamiliar words and their meanings humanity it means people brimming it means to be full of something leg behind to move more slowly than others as the child lagged behind his parents fascinated it means very interested or attracted obedient it means doing what you are told to do obeying suppress it means to prevent from expressing the feeling okay children moving next stare look at refusal 
means saying no no for something need it means request tyrant it means a person exercising power or control in a cruel manner remember children cruel manner tender it means kind or caring children let us now describe the story line by line it was the festival of spring spring here refers to the spring season it was the festival of a spring season how what could be the climate at that time it was neither hot nor cold but towards the end of the day that is after evening we feel a little cold from the wintry sets of narrow lanes and streets appeared a colorfully dressed humanity humanity here refers to people people wearing their best costumes colorfully of different colors costumes of different colors dresses of different colors they came out to visit the fair some walked here it refers to the means of their traveling to the fair how they went some of them they walked some rode on horses others set on others set being carried in bamboo and bullock carts different means different means that people used for traveling to the fair meanwhile we came across one little boy he ran between his father's legs brimming he was full of excitement full of happiness over with life and laughter he was filled with happiness and lively activities it was probably for the first time that the child went to a fair with his parents that was the reason why he was very happy okay children come child come called his parents as the child lagged behind the child he was attracted he was fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way while going to the fair there were so many toy stalls lined up there the child it was very obvious that he felt attracted when he saw toys there so he lagged behind meanwhile the child's parents called him come 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 faster don't stop he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call as the parents called the child also being very obedient obeying the words of the parents again came nearer closer to the parents as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him the parents waited for the child for a while the child joined him joined uh, the parents he could not suppress the desire of his heart after all it was a child a child's heart he could not suppress the feeling of his heart that he wanted that child that toy even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes though he very well aware of this fact that his parents are going to deny that his parents are going to say no you should not feel attracted towards those toys still he could not suppress his feeling and finally child pleaded pleaded requested i want that toy he told before his parents finally that he wanted toys his father looked at him red eyed with big eyes which means no in his familiar tyrant's way in his as usual manner the father said no 
it was an expression showed to the child on the other hand a mother a soft heart quite affectionate melted by the free spirit of the day which was tender and giving him her finger to hold the mother being very lovable being very affectionate gave her finger to the child hold it and come with me look child she just tried her best to divert the mind of the child from the toy by saying look look what is there in front of you look what is there before you and the child also forgot what he wanted earlier okay children look look at the picture how the mother the affectionate lady she hold the hand of the child and try to distract the mind of the boy from the toy stall children we discussed this much part of the text today let us learn how far you understood the text let us discuss some questions and their answers okay children answer the following questions in a word or a phrase one who is the writer of the story very good it is mulk raj anand okay children number 2 who ran between his father's legs very good the child okay number 3 why did the child lag behind what was the reason tell me very good he was fascinated by the toys fascinated by the toys okay children next what did the child plead what he pleaded for very good the toys okay children moving next fill in the blanks using the words given in the bracket words are given in the bracket you have to use the appropriate words in the blank spaces okay children number 1 the child was dazed by the toys find out the answer very good fascinated okay number 2 from the streets appeared a colorfully dressed des very nice humanity so the answer is humanity okay next it was the des of spring very good festival of spring Okay next the boy was dazed over with life and laughter very good brimming Okay next he could not dazed the desire of his heart very good suppress Okay children this is for today's class let us end the class with a beautiful quotation life is the journey and not the destination with this we'll stop today thank you children bye bye